this video, we are going to apply the technique called as mesh analysis to solve one more problem. So problem is given like this. The circuit is having voltage sources of 80 volt and 30 volt and resistances are 10, 20, 5, 30 and 40 ohm. Objective is to get voltage across 40 ohm and we have to use mesh analysis. So I am having first mesh or first loop, I will mark mesh current I1. Second mesh, mesh current I2 and third mesh, mesh current I3. Based on the direction of current, I will mark voltage drops. So it is a plus minus, plus minus. This is also plus minus like this. For this loop 2, I will have voltage drops plus minus, plus minus. For loop 3, plus minus, plus minus and plus minus. Battery's polarities are same the way they have given because it is not depend upon direction of current. So let us apply KVL to loop number 1. So I will start from this point and trace a path like this. So plus minus, so it is a minus 10 I1, minus 20 I1, plus 20 I2, minus 30 I1 plus 30 I3 plus 80 equal to 0 and after simplifying I will have minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 as minus 60 I1 then plus 20 I2 as it is plus 30 I3 as it is constant I will take to other side so it is minus 18 equation number 1. Similarly I can apply KVL to loop number 2. So I will start from this point and trace a path like this. So in the direction of current I am having plus 30 minus phi I2 plus phi i3 minus 20 i2 plus 20 i1 equal to 0 and after simplifying repeat after simplifying 20 i1 will remain as it is then minus phi minus 20 will become minus 25 i2 and plus 5 i3 will remain as it is constant this is plus 30 will go that side of the equation will become minus 30 equation number 2. Similarly I can apply KVL to loop number 3 I will start my discussion from this point and tracing this path I will have 3 voltage drops and 2 voltage rises so let us see so I will have so here I will write apply KVL to loop number 3. So I will have minus phi I3 plus phi I2 minus 40 I3 minus 30 I3 plus 30 I1 
equal to 0. I am not having any voltage source in this particular loop. So after simplifying, I will get 30i1 plus 5i2 minus 5 minus 40 minus 30 will become minus 75 i3 equal to 0 equation number 3. So solving equation 1, 2 and 3 I will get loop currents I1 as 3.7619 ampere I2 as 4.5714 ampere and I3 as 1.8095 ampere in a problem they have asked what is a voltage drop across 40 ohm so voltage drop across 40 ohm is given as 40 ohm resistance multiplied by current flowing through the 40 ohm resistance so if you see the circuit current flowing through the 40 ohm resistance is i3 only so ultimately i40 is nothing but I3 which is 1.8095 and after solving this voltage across 40 ohm I will get 72.38 volt. So here we have seen that whenever I know current flowing through a particular branch I can get voltage drop across that particular branch if the resistance and current flowing through that branch is known to me. In subsequent videos we will see more numericals based on mesh analysis. Thank you.